Hello to viewers, welcome to my channel Science to Technology. In today's show, Camera Tuesday, we're gonna talk about Sure Move Mic. So let's dive deep into it. So this Move Mic is a, basically a new take on wireless lavalier micro, uh, microphone kits. Basically, Rode Wireless Go was the first time that it became a thing. Then other companies were like, hey, what if we use stereo? So then Rode Wireless Go 2 became a thing. Then DJI Mic became a thing. DJI Mic 2 happened. Then Rode Wireless Pro happened. So right now, it's a big ecosystem where you can find a lot of things like this. Like this is a DJI Rode Wireless Go 2. So this company has a new take on it. Now, why this company matters? Well, here's the, they actually know how to make microphones. So while Sure is not known for other products, they are well known for their uh, microphones, like actual uh, microphone capsules. So they are one of the top leading brands in that regard. So there is some serious potential here. So what they are offering is a mic, our Bluetooth audio transmitter, meaning technically Bluetooth is 2.5 gigahertz, but you have to understand there is two layers to it. First is physical layer, what is the wavelength of the radio used, 2.5 gigahertz, and then another is the protocol. You can have Wi-Fi protocol or you can have Bluetooth protocol or some other protocol on the same wavelength. So this is 2.5 gigahertz, but it has custom protocol that it uses to talk to the uh, transmit uh, receiver on the mic camera. Now this puppy is completely different. This is like, hey, we are using the same 2.5 gigahertz radio. What if we use Bluetooth for it? So this puppy can directly communicate with your mobile phone and you do not need a transmitter, uh, receiver, sorry. So this means you have these, you plonk it, done. You activate your mobile phone, done. You do not need extra hardware. So it removes one hardware piece. Basically, this becomes optional. Receiver becomes optional. If you are, and more and more people are using their mobile phone as primary means of creating, this is more than good enough. It's like, hey, this can work with the tool that I'm using. Shut up, take money. So that's what they are doing. And you have stereo receiver for as an optional, meaning if you uh, want to buy it, you can just buy one mic, one charging case. If you want to buy it, two mic, one charging case, you can buy it. If you're like, hey, I want to use it with one of my camera, two mics, one charging case, plus the receiver, you can buy that. Like it's a package options and all options are available. So it's a tailor-made tool for smartphone vloggers. It's a not targeting like, you know, camera industry or something like that. They are targeting a bit more like a DJI, uh, pardon me, Rode Pro has time code. Now time code is something professionals use. So that targeting that market, again, it's name in the pro and they are targeting some pro features. You see where they are going. They are going for vlogger kind of ecosystem where you do not actually need the receiver. If you want to have it, go you'll on it, but you do not need it. And yes, this is the pouch structure. They, because again, the boxes have so many options, where it's like one box and two box, they do not have one collective box like uh, Road and DJI. So they have a pouch, satchel, if you will, where you just open it and just plonk it. Up to you, some people will love it, some people will like, what the hell, but that's up to you. And the critical selling point they have is very small and very long runtime. Meaning, while this has a lot of functions, it does suffer in uh, basically longevity, basically how long the battery can run. And because this is now old, I think I've been using it for around uh, two years or so. Uh, yeah, this does not last any longer. And even when it was brand new, it was not lasting. Like again, in terms of runtime, it's not huge. While they are tiny, they have very huge runtime. Runtime is their key focus. Like it's very, uh, like, you know, long running equipment and you do need custom app for uh, quality audio. Now, if you must have thought, it's like, hey, if 2.5 gigahertz is Bluetooth, if 2.5 gigahertz is used in every other uh, transmitter system, why the heck not anybody did this part? Like, you know, just use Bluetooth. Well, Bluetooth is not designed for audio transfer with high bandwidth, meaning while the protocol has uh, space where it can be like, hey, I can uh, transfer in more than enough data, it's not designed to do that. And ironically, Bluetooth protocol, is, we are still stuck in ancient times as in like 1990 somebody uh, built a protocol for that time and because of compatibility we kept using it and literally if you are he hearing music through your he headphones there is a different protocol and it disables a uh, other system you can only use one protocol so there's a well lot of hassle in order to get high quality audio it can physically transmit it it's just that software is the limiting factor so you have to use custom application made by sure that you install in your phone and that's the only way where you can record the microphone and if you are to record a video you have to use the app to record the video you cannot use the default app default app will not see the microphones that's the reason why other brands have not done it it can be done it's a easy enough thing to do and Rode Wireless Go 2 does uh, DJI 2 does the same thing with their own DJI uh, you know cameras the reason for that is like transmitter and receiver is the same frequency if you can support the protocol go you'll on it mobile phone requires a different protocol changing layer which is application 
So this is what they are offering a unique experience. Basically, you just have a tiny capsules, you plonk it, and your mobile phone directly receives it. So what about the setup? Well, setup is like you get two um, basically microphones in the capsule and you can buy it. Be mindful if you ever see something that is too cheap, there is a good chance you are only getting the microphone and capsule. Uh, basically one capsule and charging case because yes, there are three tiers of purchasing option. You have capsule one and charging case, capsule, two capsules, one charging case, two capsule charging case plus this uh, receiver block. So this one is very, very expensive. So it's up to you. And if you want to send audio, let's say your mobile phone does not, you do not want to use other application. You already have an app that you are happy with and you're like, hey, I only want to use that because again, you may have a pipeline which works for it. You may be like, okay, let's buy the transmitter. You can use USB to transmit the audio, the digital audio transmission, or you can use uh, analog system, basically 3.5 uh, headphone jack, like I'm using right now. So that you have options, that's very good. App is a must. Be very mindful. Do not expect like, oh, this is just going to directly connect with my mobile phone. No, it won't. I mean, like it will show up like something is connected over Bluetooth, but it will not work. Be very mindful of that. Now, when we come to the interesting part, because it's designed and targeted for audio uh, people dealing with vloggers, it has audio limiter. Now, back in the old days of uh, analog era, where we used to record audio on tapes and all that, there was an issue. You want your microphone to be as sensitive as possible. So all this uh, tone is being captured. Now, problem is that that's awesome. That gives you very good, uh, what we call signal to noise ratio. That is super awesome for capturing the audio. There is a tiny issue that if you clip, it becomes black. And once we switch to digital, same problem exists. It's just problem is switched from um, the analog circuitry to preamps. So basically you need a way to temper what goes into the preamp because if preamp clips or like basically improves the volt, uh, increases the voltage too much, the analog to digital converter is like, ah, bro, I cannot convert this. It just clips to zero dB value. So you have useless audio. So how did we manage it? Well, there is a circuit known as analog limiter. It's a literal analog circuitry which just receives the audio signal and based on your gain setting it can be like okay 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 the moment you clip it physically tones down the sensitivity like it's a physical layer before digital conversion we might before any digital conversion happen it saves the file only then you can do that if you see a giant people who are doing you know podcasting with giant microphone and giant deck what the hell is in that deck that's what is in there compressors analog limiter analog limiters are very good because you want your mic to be as sensitive as possible but again you are flying too close to the sun you are already at let's say minus 8 db awesome super clean audio even with a lot of youtube compression you're going to be very clear very crisp but again you're flying too close to the sun have analog limiter it's like i got you fam it's your safety layer you can have compression so all the audio gets uh, compressed into the one band so it's very level and all that all of those functions are available in this by default in the application it's so it's not just like okay you can record it they knew for a fact that you have to figure out how's the end use cases so they are not targeting like oh you are a professional you know everything it's like hey we know you're gonna need some assistance so you have audio limiters good you have noise reduction very good uh, ai noise reduction that's good high pass filter with a lot of um, testability basically you have flexibility in that so if i have like in my case ac that is running that fan is running whoosh sound you can remove it five band equalizer meaning you want your final audio directly to be good whereas like you know how exactly you want it you have five band equalizer so this is what they are offering it's like hey we have a tool that just works with your mobile phone you have to install an app which again uh, all things considered it's not that difficult and in that app we give you more than enough option to tailor the audio exactly you want it right out of the gate meaning you're recording video audio is exactly how it should be you do not need to oh i'm gonna do post processing. you do not need to again you can do cutting and trimming and all that but you don't have to touch the audio part so this is what they are offering in terms of setup. So now let's talk about the limits of this system. Well, it, the biggest issue it has is that it's a wireless only system, meaning if you ha have no onboard recording and your signal drops, which can happen, be mindful, wireless is not a stable system. It's like, because you have what we call gremlins, meaning you do not know what's causing the interference. You can literally be recording in your house. Somebody drives uh, next to uh, basically your house using an electric vehicle and that vehicle is not a very good EMI shielded. Voila, literally your signal will drop. And again, that's why it's so random. And if a lot of people are using radio communication, again, 2.5 gigahertz is used by everything, heck, even microwave, uh, you may find like it just works or does not work. So that's a very serious uh, limit. Meaning you are just counting that wireless works. Now be mindful, wireless does work. That's why we utilize it. But again, it's not robust. And if retaking is expensive, then it's like a really painful. 
so not having any on board recording means wireless signal drops equal lost of shoot meaning you have to reshoot it so again for many people it's not that big of a deal for some people it's like oh i cannot risk that another aspect is uh, while analog limiter is a good option they are not very clear on that that is actually analog limiter and uh, not having 32 bit forces you to have analog limiter that's why uh, all modern systems are switching to 32 bit meaning they have two preamps two analog to digital converter and then they are mixing the signal into one audio channel benefit is the dynamic range is so huge that your microphone will physically clip meaning if audio level goes too low your microphone cannot create enough charge to be amplified so again there is a lower limit of how low your microphone can react then you have a higher level meaning if sound becomes too strong like you put it next to a rocket launch it will get destroyed so there is a limit and 32 bit if done correctly gives you so much latitude that your microphone will physically clip before the signaling part clips so you are sorted that's what everybody wants to have no more compression no more limiting is like i got this i got this there is no gain like if a proper 32 bit system is there gain is just a setup that you see on your end it's not a physically you cannot change anything again why would you uh, why would company even allow you to because again they try to balance the uh, dynamic range of two analog to digital camera you do not want to tamper with it so 32 bit is not there so but again limiter is useful and again many people would be like hey i would rather have limiter than 32 bit simply because while limiter actively takes care of my signal 32 bit becomes a post processing work which again you may like you may not like but again uh, post at least you could do if you have onboard recording this does not have onboard recording meaning any shoot where your signal was droppy or patchy god help you so that's it the end and it costs more than dji mic 2 that's where i was like nope it's like the only selling point they have like truly quality selling point is like these things are tiny again for many shoots people would be like hey uh, i could have a proper lavalier microphone route it back on my system and properly tie it into my collar or like how adam savage does is like he has a um, basically special glasses with giant borders in that he drilled out yes there are lavalier microphones that are that small he have a microphone literally here again okay, it's barely one fit uh you know one inch away from his face uh, actual mouth so audio quality of his talks are awesome and again if you're not paying the backpack that he has you will never notice it even on a hd stream or 4k stream so again if you want to do a proper small setup you can do that but again it's too much hassle this is far easier to uh, you know just clip and people forget especially if you're wearing anything dark like a jacket or blazer or things of that nature dark color this will just disappear you're like who cares so for again i can see that would be a very desirable thing but other than that for price higher than dji mic 2 in india no and be careful even in abroad it's expensive like 500 dollar kind of expensive so no external mic input which again limits your system meaning if you like the audio signature of this microphone awesome if you don't you're stuck in all other scenarios you can use like even this you can use it just as a transmitter you can connect whatever microphone you desire Heck, you can even have a preamp and have like a very giant shotgun mic and you make your uh, high quality shotgun mic into wireless shotgun mic. People have done that. Right? You can do that. That's the whole point of having an audio uh, jack into it. Again, DJI also does the same thing. Not having that option for such an expensive system is like, the only reason why I can justify this price is just it's too small. And Bluetooth protocol is not supported. That's the another hassle. But that's why no other company did it. It's simply because you have to trust this application. If you're happy with the application, awesome. If you're not, you can't switch. It won't work. So, and again, if you're like, hey, I already have an app set up where I do uh, all the things, you might as well buy a transceiver and then use the all USB stream to dump the audio. That may, uh, that will allow you to have higher usability. Again, not every Android supports it. Newer one do, but I have a very old Android. This, I cannot directly connect with uh, my Android phone, but my brother has a Samsung flagship S23 Ultra. I can directly connect the, uh, connect the USB, get stereo audio in it. So be mindful, having that Bluetooth protocol sounds good, but it is a limited system because again, it's not the fault of the manufacturers, but it's more of like nobody ever actually bothers to update Bluetooth. Everyone's like, hey, backwards compatibility. It's like, can you please upgrade? So that's a that's a big issue. There are some serious limits. You have to be very mindful of that. 32 bit is not that big of a deal because again, for many people, it will like, hey, limiter more than good enough. Actually desirable over 32 bit uh, post system. But again, not having onboard recording, that's an issue. And again, more costly than DJI Mic 2. I'm like, what the hell? So, so let's compare it to DJI Mic 2. Why again? It's simply because the price is higher than it. So 
you will get mobile integration if you buy this one uh, you get ipx4 which is the most useless rating now again x feels like it's a bigger number like 10 it's not x simply means it does not apply meaning it cannot handle dust and 4 means one or two water droplets from here and there so yeah this is ipx x4 no company actually bothers to rate something like this simply because it's pointless you want ip65 or something like that again many smartphones have reached that point so even though your smartphone can handle the rough weather this can barely handle no? barely so that's again this almost feels like you know a cheat where it's like hey we say ip rating but the moment you go there it's like sir dust is inside it's like so x rating sir x does not apply meaning you cannot expect this mic to work with the dust so and again small yeah that i can see for many people i can see the hassle of having a like a proper mic setup is expensive again movie setup actually have time allocated just for that mic setups and all that uh, so i could see that hey small mic shut up take money these are genuine options like your my, mobile phone integration while apps is difficult it's not as another physical hardware that you have to carry so again for many people it's shut up take money small mic shut up take money ipx4 uh, not there but this is like way too small as in like a, there is a saying like if you should make things simpler but not any simpler than that so like road and dji is good setup but this went too small like dji is half the size of this puppy and this is like um, the this mic that we are talking about, it's quarter of the size of this it's like way too small so now this puppy what does it offer you it's 32 bit internal recording meaning it is a perfect backup meaning your mobile uh, wireless signal stops working no problem you got something meaning your shoot won't be cancelled and if uh, you just want to hack, walk on a hike and just have an audio diary this can do, act as a proper recorder 32 bit audio recorder meaning not only it has a backup it's actual source meaning if, if you are doing any post processing you have source quality audio 32 bit is better than 24 bit so fundamentally really good implementation of the system and it comes with one box you just have this one box you put transmitter you put uh, receivers done go home and the transmitter is also very well designed touch screen knobs like somebody actually spent time on designing it so that's there and be mindful because of the prevalence of sony cameras in the vlogger sphere they're like hey what if we remove that cable hassle that people have so sony uh, interactive shoe mount that mi mount that is on the top of the newer sony cameras you can just buy a new adapter plug it there and voila no wires you do not need to have extra wires so it's a genuinely good setup for price available in india i have linked the amazon link down below so you can do that and if you're like hey i do not want to go that kind of price again there are cheaper options also for example hollands have made some good tools and this is a holland toolkit which is similar it does not have onboard recording does not have mic input uh, but again it's cheaper it's like it makes sense hey we are not giving you same feature set so it's cheaper makes sense and again it's very small it's this small so it's not like oh huge things round but small this is like a pro system where it's like if you buy this the only thing uh road wireless pro has is time code and again it's half as implementation so many people are like might as well not try this does have much better usability for example having the all the settings you can do on this puppy directly on the touch screen you do not need to use a road app i deal with that part here and again this also has vibration motor meaning if when you are like it does not have a screen how would you know that you have activated it or not it has a vibration chimes for it so it's a really good integration and again this is a really good integration on sony system so in terms of compared to dji mic 2 it's not even a competition like practically given the price and again if you're like hey it's a cheaper system awesome so for cheaper uh, option i would say look into holland that will give you more or less the same quality same uh, usability and again cheaper on your wallet and if you're spending that kind of money go into dji mic 2 you will have much greater flexibility much better oomph, and much quality high experience and especially if you have sony cameras then it's like awesome so this so this was my presentation on uh, basically uh, move mic hopefully you have liked it learned from it in that case please hit the like button share it amongst a friend that will help me a lot if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me extra disappointment please leave a comment because i do try to reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching